Hola, namaste. This is Priyanka Vanga from Sutra. What got me started after almost two decades of corporate life. I deal with vision issues, very severe vision issues, both hereditary as well as caused by an injury. It's given me the grounding, the flexibility. Through the Vinyasa Yoga Flow practice, one breath, one movement, I do it as my passion, as my purpose, in amplifying this wellness to others around us. Welcoming you on the mat today for detoxifying vinyasa yoga flow practice. And as you get settled on the mat, bring the thumb and index finger together. And as you close your eyes, set an intention for the practice. What brought you on the mat for this rejuvenating yoga flow and also what you want to take it off the mat as you think about cleansing in your daily life, cleansing your mind, your soul, breathe and let's get started gently moving with the breath, kind of keep the eyes closed as you inhale the hands up, letting the breath rise up from your roots through your core all the way up through the crown of your head, bring the palms back down onto your belly button. Once again, inhale, spread the palms out, stretch up. Exhale, bring the palms down to your belly button. Also, the center of your energy, your digestion, your Manipura Chakra. And the third one, let's add an Om, lifting with the breath. Gently pressing the palms together in Anjali Mudra, pausing in between your eyebrows, your throat, your heart, and finally opening your fingertips out wide on top of your belly button. And as you exhale, let's curl the spine in. Inhale, let's spread this energy out. And exhale, let's bring it back in to heart center. Gently open your eyes. Inhale, let's spread the palms up once again and this time as you exhale, let's start to add rotations. Release the palm back, inhale, the front hand goes up. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, rise, let's start to move a little faster through the warm-up. Releasing back, stretching up. Once again, moving at your own pace with your breath, moving through your vinyasa flow side to side, still keeping gentle while we're warming up, breathe, inhaling, exhaling, let's curl the spine once again, and stretch up open, and smile, let's look towards the right, and center, look towards the left, and center, exhaling, chin to the chest, also working through full body mobility, sending the breath through the full body while you're on the mat and remembering to keep this with you while you're off the mat in your daily life. Let's add neck rotations, breathing in as you go back, exhale, release. One more to the other side, exhaling, releasing, back down. Rolling your shoulders a couple of times, preparing for the practice. As we transition, into neutral tabletop, sending the breath to your shoulders. Inhale, extend the arms out, hug in, pulling your shoulder blades in, stretching out, and the opposite side. Breathe and slowly release the palms down. Wrist under your elbows, under your shoulders, one straight line, knees under the buttocks, toes extended out. Breathe. Focus once again in your core, in your belly. As you spread this energy out, inhale, the right hand goes forward, left leg pointed, and as you exhale, crunch in, round the spine. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. And breathe, exhale. And two. Everything 
out to the zero two and steady and one and gently release down maybe take a couple additional cat cows tending the shoulders up and then curving the spine and maybe try to find your belly button as you listen once more Bhutalasana, cow pose, exhale, cat pose, Mahatma Bhutalasana. Let's take it to the other side, staying steady, breathe and lengthen with the breath, exhale, crunch your five, four, three, and two, and one, extending up. And release the palms down. Let's add hip rotation. Continuing the mobility work. Warming up the rest of your body. Releasing the buttock back down in circles. Rolling side to side. Breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Release. And gently, one word at a time. Come back to neutral. Tuck in your toes. We'll rise up in a short down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. If you're feeling very tight, maybe you want to keep both knees bent. Play around with it. Extend out, trying to release the heels down in the mat. Maybe bend one knee, press the opposite leg out. And switch. Remembering to move with your breath. Keeping the weights even in a strong inverted V. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Down dog. If you feel comfortable, start to lengthen the dog as you walk the feet and the hands out. Breathing, inhaling, exhaling, releasing. Slowly, straight forward, gently moving like a wave. Body in one straight line, meet me in a plank. Don't let the hips sag. Stay tall, stay engaged. Keep the belly engaged. Head to toe in one straight line. Head to heels rather, better in a plank. And exhale, lift the butt, release the heels down. We warm up, moving with the breath gently, moving between planks to bound up. If it feels too much, you always have the option of bringing the knees down in the middle and stretching back out before you rise up in a down dog. So you have options. Moving from plank to down dog, or if your knees are down, extend back out, child pose, balasana, gently roll forward, always remembering to turn the eyes of the elbows to point forward, and then lift the knees up to a down dog. Play around with it, do for what feels good, do what feels fun, remembering the joy on the mat and keeping this feeling of joy and playfulness as you move off the mat. We are slowly tippy to our feet forward, bringing the feet in between your palms, letting the belly rest on the thighs, enjoying the stretch in your hamstrings. If you're feeling tight like I am, keep the knees a bit bent. Options here, grab your elbows, release down or reach for your big toes with your two fingers, roll it over. If you wish to go even deeper, press the palms down under your feet, also stretching the wrists out and then play with bending and extending the legs. Always be mindful of what you can do. If you have any health issues, maybe you can't hold your head down for too long, Maybe some other injuries in the back, so be careful about it. And then slowly, staying with your breath, maybe going up and down, or if you need to rise up, start counting. And 10, and 9, 8, 7, sending the breath to your spine, 6, 5, rolling up one vertebra at a time, 4, 3, 2, 1, extending up. Stretch up with this energy, maybe you also want to play around with it, rise up on the balls of your feet, so zipping this line of energy down from the earth, breathing in, 
inhale extending up exhaling swinging back on your heel folding forward be longer breaths this time as you inhale slowly lift your heels up stretch up as you exhale fold forward swing back on your heels for 60 seconds and once more one long breath in this time rising up a bit of toppling is totally all right exhaling folding forward and once again maybe this time you start to add some spinal rotation as you come up, breathing in and out, seven and six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretching up, knee feet in front of the mat, in Tadasana, mountain pose. Always remember, you can just pause the video, take breaks, take breaks whenever you need to. Have a sip of water, make any adjustments, and get back on the mat all together to continue. Okay, let's move through some celebrations, Surya Namaskars. Inhale, reaching up, tall, Uttita Hatasana. Exhale, palms to heart center, releasing down, Uttanasana, folding forward. Inhaling, give me a flat back, halfway. Exhale, straight. Let's take the right foot back, bring the knee down on the mat. Inhale, rise up, low lunge. Let's open the palms out, spread the palms out forward, and take the back hand on the back thigh, the opposite thigh, stretching the front side of your body, starting to add the twist in. And as you exhale, release this hand outside the left foot. Inhale, the left hand up. Breathe. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, framing the front foot. Take the left foot back as we prepare for your vinyasa. I'll again give options. Coming down in cobra. Before that, we touch the chest down, keep the buttocks. Slide up with your breath. Breathe. Options, if it feels too much on your upper body, just gently slide down with your back, with your chest, and then lift up with the breath. Stretch up. Tuck in your toes. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Breathe, maybe pedal your feet out or stay still. Do what feels good in this moment. Kick back high with the right foot, bend at the knee, and bring it forward. If it lands a little further behind, no problem. Drop the left knee, bring the right foot in. Inhale, stretch up. Breathe. Once again, let's rotate this time. Towards the right side, release the right hand down, stretch the left hand up. And float the hand down outside the foot, lengthen the top hand, maybe even look up, breathe, and gently rotate with the breath. Come up, exhale, fold forward. Let's take the right knee back, preparing for your vinyasa. Once again, remembering to keep the core engaged. As we release down, Inhale, sliding up, stretching up. Exhale, releasing back. Adho Mukhashwan Asana. Staying here with a couple of breaths. I'll give another option to bend one knee. Take the same side hand to the opposite leg of the shin. Continuing to work on the core. Breathe and stretch. Inhale, slide forward for a plank. Once again, option to bring the knees down, or if you're with me in a plank, lift your buttocks, gently release back, down dog, and left foot side. So my right knee is bent, and the right hand goes towards the left ankle, the left shin. Inhale, moving forward. Breathe, maybe add a vinyasa if you wish to. Coming down, cobra. Bhujangasana, sliding up with the breath. Exhaling, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Tippy toe your feet to the front of the mat. Uttanasana, as we come to close, the first Surya Namaskar. Inhaling, halfway. Exhaling, releasing down. Ah, let it go, empty your belly back. Sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana, 
Exit thanks to Hop Center, releasing down Tarasana Mountain Pose. So let's continue this flow and we'll add more twist as we go along. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Stay with me here. Take the right hand outside the left knee. Stretch it up. Exhale, release it down. Let's switch sides. Over to the other side. Breathe and release. Uttanasana, once again, folding forward. Belly onto the thighs. Take the right hand outside the left foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release down. Take me to the other side. And exhaling, releasing down. Pause, breathe. Option to walk or hop to the back of the mat directly in a plank. If you're jumping back with me, that's where you are. If you decide to walk back, take one foot back at a time. Once again, option to bring the knees down or keep up. And let's go to plank down dog a couple of times. Moving with the breath. Maybe picking up the pace just a notch here. Breathe. If you're using your knees, rise up. Tap the knees down. And exhale back up. Breathe in here. Let's all pause. Bring the knees down. Stretch it back out. And gently roll up. One vertebra at a time. Tucking in your toes. Exhaling. Adho Mukha Svanasana, Down Dog. Let's kick back with the right foot. Extend it out. Bend at the knee. Open the hip up. And as you exhale, bring the knee to the right elbow. Inhale, lengthen the leg back. Bend it. And this time as you exhale, tap it to the left elbow. See how it feels in your belly? Extend it back out. Breathe. Tap it to the nose. Maybe round your thigh. Bend the back. And this time, a big twist. Remember the detoxification. Twisting towards the opposite elbow. Drop the foot out. Inhale. Open the hand up. Breathe and hold. Option. You can add hip dips if you want to make the practice stronger for three and breathe and two and one and gently bring the palm in tap the knee one elbow to the opposite elbow lengthen it back out flowing through your vinyasa we can start to add chaturangas going down halfway or continue with the knees down down for cobra Bhujangasana, sliding up, stretching back. Pause. Inhale, exhale, stretch it up. Take it to the other side, bend at the knee, open it up. Tap it to the same side elbow, opening the hip up. Stretch back up. Tap it to the opposite side, rotate. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Kick it back high. And this time, twist to the opposite side, release the foot out. Inhaling, keep lifting the inner waist as you lift the hand. And if you move through the dynamic breath work on the other side, lift and drop. Fall and start. Three, two, one. Remembering the breath guiding you for this practice on the mat, off the mat. Sliding back forward, breathe, exhale down, inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, up dog, or if you're down with me here, going down, Cobra Bhujangasana, tuck in your toes, everyone knees back, in down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, catch your breath, breathe, breathe. Once again, looking forward, walk or hop to the front of the mat. I'll start to take hops in here. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Slowly rolling up, one vertebra at a time. Stretching up, exhaling, releasing back.
We'll start to add Utkatasana, chair poses, standing tall, Tadasana. Inhale, reach up, Utkita Hastasana. Lengthening up, don't crouch your shoulders, no crowding around the knees. Hold and stretch gently. Come back down, seated. Utkatasana, chair pose. Let's add a twist right here, moving towards the right. Releasing the left elbow outside the right knee. Option to extend the hands out. Breathe. Lift up back with your breath. Back to heart center. Over to the other side. And release it back down. Stretch it out. Inhale. Rise up. Exhale. Release down. Uttanasana. Holding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Option to walk or hop to the back of the mat. Add a chaturanga. Optional vinyasa. Rest in child's pose. Exhale, back. Inhale, sit back with the right foot. Hold, bring the knee to the chest. Release the foot down. Inhale, rise up. Crescent pose. Anjaneyasana. Open the arms up. Release the right hand to the opposite side. Stretch the front side of your body as you sink deeper. And exhale it out. Release the hand outside the foot. Breathing. Holding steady. Front knees bent. Front thigh parallel to the mat. Breathe. And breathe. Move back up with the breath. Open. Exhale. Frame the front foot. Kick back. Slide forward, release down, stretch up. Exhaling, Adho Mukhasanasana, down dog. Stay here as long as you need to. Or keep moving the knee into rest. You can move the opposite leg up. Bring the knee to chest, release the foot down, front knee bent. Inhaling, crescent pose. Maybe starting to look up now. Exhaling, rotating. And releasing, breathing. Slowly release this hand outside the foot and look up. Breathe. Inhale, rise up. Maybe you start to slip like me since I'm on a towel on the sand. Catch your balance and let's move back. Preparing for our chaturanga. Inhale, exhale. Lift up with the next breath. Inhaling. Up dog, Urdhva, Mukhashwanasana. Exhale, down dog. Maybe stay steady here. Stay breath. Maybe you start to feel more wound up and you want to lengthen the body even further. Sinking heavy with your heels, pressing your palms down firmly. Breathe. Keeping the weight even in between the palms and the feet. And slowly walk or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, release. Gently rising up. Exhale, rise to heart center. Breathe. Slowly, let's meet at the long edge of the mat. Stretching our legs out. Stretching our back out. And of course, adding some twists. Open out as wide as you can with airplane arms. Hinging forward from your butt, Prasarita Padodasana. Wide-legged forward bend. Maybe at this time you bring the hands down and release the foot down. Let's take the right hand over towards the left ankle and inhale the left hand up. Breathe. Hold. If you wish to go a little deeper, curl around your left ankle and release the top hand behind your opposite leg. Inhale, exhale, let's float over to the other side. Right, The left hand on the right ankle this time. Right hand looks up or we go a little deeper as we rotate around. Holding here, keep lifting the kneecaps. Don't let the kneecaps collapse. Don't let the legs collapse. Breathe, exhale, release. Inhale, rising up, star pose. Exhale, folding forward. This time, let's take the palms to face up, fingertips facing back. 
Maybe going a little deeper, trying to release your head down to the feet. And slowly release the hands onto either ankle or shin and gently walk up with your breath. Feeling the breath rising up from the earth through your legs, to your butt, to your waist, up through your core, into your heart and into the space. Exhale. Let's look forward, a wide stretch, or you can tippy toe your feet in, leaving me back in center. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Let it go, release and down. Inhale, gently rising up. Exhale, folding forward, continuing the sun salutations. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, release back down. Jump or walk back. Preparing for your vinyasa. Stretching up. Exhale back. Let's kick back with the left foot this time. Kick high. Bring the foot in forward. And this time, let's drop the back foot down. So the toes pointing out. At about 2 o'clock, as you release the hands down, let your head or chin rest in the front knee. As deep as you go, or keep looking forward as feels more comfortable. Breathe. Inhale. Rise up. Stretch up. And as you exhale, extend the palms out. Release the right hand outside the left ankle. Inhaling the left hand up. Maybe even add a rotation once again on the top arm. Inhaling. Exhaling. Releasing back down. Try not to lose your balance. Stay steady on all four corners of the feet and the toes. And rise up. Stretch up. Bend the front knee. Breathe. Kick back. Slide forward. And let's enjoy the flow. Inhale. Kick back with the right foot. Bend at the knee. Bring it forward. Once again, drop the back foot out open. As you straighten the front leg, maybe one side feels tighter than the other. Hips remain square, pointing forward. Inhaling, rising up. Add a rotation and release the hand down. Body Vrita, Trikonasana. Twisted triangle, rotating the top hand. Breathe. Exhale, release. Bend the front knee once again. Maybe you bring your knees down. Maybe come down to Cobra or just catch your breath in child pose or maybe some of you have flown through chaturanga rising up up dog urdhva mukha svanasana exhale down dog adho mukha svanasana breathe pause release and let's hop to the front of the mat inhaling halfway exhaling release rise up urdhva hastasana Exhale, Last sun salutation. Let's bring it all together. Inhale, rise up. Come now, chair pose. Extend the arms out like a bird. Float down and stretch up. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Optional twist. Right here in Uttanasana, folding forward. Releasing down. Jumping back. Exhale. Inhale through your vinyasa. Everyone kick back and down the leg. Let's kick back with the right foot. Bend at the knee. Bring it forward. Stay with me here as you keep the opposite. The left hand down on the mat. Lift the back leg up and open up. Rotate it. Half moon pose. Breathe if it's within your practice. Maybe reach for your foot, bending at the knee, or keep it extended out, holding steady, employing the twist. Maybe you want to let go of the bottom hand to reach for your ankle. If you feel steady, breathe, twist for a breath, play around with it, inhaling, exhale, pick a point in front of you, keep your base steady, and exhale, releasing it back down. Flowing through your vinyasa, 
cobra, up dog, or just resting in child's pose. And let's take it to the other side. Kick back, bring the foot forward, keep the opposite hand down. Maybe you wish to take a block here or keep the front knee generously bent. So it lets you kick up, rise, smile, and hold, breathe. And once again, one side may feel different than another. So if it works for you, release the hand onto your ankle. Definitely doesn't work for me on this side, so no problem. And just kick the leg a little higher, hold a little stronger. Three, two, one. Bring the hand down, kick back, slide forward. Exhaling, inhaling, releasing. Inhaling. Exhale, everyone come down on the mat, resting in child's pose, Balasana. Head can go down if your butt is resting on the heels. If you need to slide a cushion, slide it under your butt to get the rest. Or just shimmy your butt back. Hands can be under your forehead or palms to either side. Breathing in and out. Thinking about the energy moving within your body as you rest in child's pose thinking about how you felt in the practice and how you can take it into your work into your daily lives to your family to your friends to your community let's slowly rise out of child's pose come in to sit down on our butts breathing in and out ending with some work for our core for the twist before we get into cool down stretching the legs out clapping one side at a time both pose variation navasana breathe in and out five lifting with the breath exhaling crunching maybe you can tap the opposite foot down three two one come up if that felt too much in your back, we always have the variation of Russian twist. And once again, feet can stay down or feet can stay up. Moving with the breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Breathing in and out. Three, two, one. And slowly, gently starting to release the lower back down on the mat. Hugging. Maybe roll side to side, letting your breath cool down. And extend the palms out, ending with a super twist, releasing the bent feet, knees, hips to one side, looking over towards your left. Maybe even closing your eyes. And come back to center. And let's rotate over to the opposite side. If it feels too much for your hands, for your shoulders, release the hands down. Or keep on the same side waist. Don't strain your neck. Maybe keep looking up if that's better. Inhale. Coming back to center. Hug around your thighs. And let's do it. Breathing in and out. Inhaling. Exhaling, meet me in a comfortable cross-legged seat. Breathe. Inhale. Rise up. Exhale. Arms come to back center. Down to your belly. Curling in once again. Let's spread this energy out to everyone around us. This positivity, this joy. Happiness. Bring it back to heart center. Let's close the practice together for the moment. Gently release the palms down. Chin to the chest. And slowly open the eyes. I hope you can also share your stories your journeys as we grow and flow together and i look forward to seeing you soon again bye